I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the HPE Perliant DL380 Gen 9 server. In this video we're going to specifically focus on how to rack your server. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the HPE ProLine DL380 Gen 9 server. Do us a favor, find anything that helps you in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, we'll top in. Now, this video is going to be specifically focused on how do I get my ProLine DL380 Gen 9 into a rack. So it's going to be a pretty simple process overall, but there's one major warning that we wanted to point out in advance uh, that hopefully will, will help out some people down the line because this one can be head scratching and make you want to bang your head against the wall because it's frustrating. So HP did not make one rail kit for the 380 Gen 9. That is correct. The large form factor versus the small form factor. So these chassis right here won't all accept this rail kit. This rail kit right here is the large form factor rail kit, so you can only use it on the large form factor server. It will not work with the small form factor. I guess technically it will, but it'll stick out several inches from uh, the, the end of the rack, and that's not what you're going to want. It's not going to look professional. So what you're going to want to get for the small form factor is the small form factor rail. So the question is, how do I figure that out? Well, that's where it gets really confusing, um, and I, I'll say HPE did not do a good job on this as a whole. The outer rails are the exact same part number and the exact same for the small form factor and the large form factor. Okay, so you think, well, the inner rails must be different. No, the inner rails are the same for the large form factor and the small form factor. Well, what's different then? There's a middle rail, and the middle rail is what's different. And what's even more frustrating about that is that to find the middle rail, you have to slide it all the way to the very, very end of it to get to the part number. So most people that are out there selling them aren't even listing the middle part number. They're going to list the inners, and they're going to list the outers. So most people don't really know if they have the small form factor, the large form factor. And it can be very, very confusing, very, very frustrating for someone who goes out there to buy it. And do me a favor. If you had a horror experience, drop a comment down below, because I'm sure there's plenty of, plenty of other people that have run into this. We just had a customer that had an issue with another seller and they had to overnight 10 rails from us, which wasn't cheap to overnight 10 rails. They are heavy. Um, and it's something that you just need to make sure you're, you're working with the right person to make sure you're getting the right rail kits. And that's the main thing that I would point out uh, in this video as a whole. So now what we're going to do is actually show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually rack it. All right, so now we're going to put our DL380 Gen 9 into the rack. So I wanted to show you uh, the first rail. We're going to do the left first, and we're going to do the right next. Um, one of the things that I like about the uh, the 2U rail kit for the 380 versus the 360 Gen 9 is they have this uh, button right here, this little tab that you can push that will make it so much easier to help unlock the um, uh, the rails when you're trying to actually get them back out. Uh, the 360 Gen 9s are uh, just a really difficult, kind of a pain in the butt, to be quite honest, to get the uh, the rails out. Um, so this is definitely a little bit better model for the 2U. So, all right, Angel, let's do uh, 8 and 9. So actually, let me point out one other thing. There's just two, uh, two spots right here that you're just going to clip in, um, and that's about it. You should make sure you line them up on both sides. So let's do an 8 and 9, Angel. So I like to, to have the uh, the back done first, then I'll come up here, and then I will get this uh, locked into place. And you click it in, and you can see it's firmly in there. So if I try to pull it out right now, I can't. But if again, if I wanted to pull it out, this button that I was showing you, when you push this in, it'll unlock it, and now I can pull it out. And it's a way better design for the two use compared to the one use. So again, I'll just go ahead and lock this into place, and now we'll do the right rail. All right, so now we're doing the right, and you'll notice again it'll say front R right here, and on the back side it's going to say front right, and it's going to say rear, so it just lets you know how to line everything up. So Angel, again, we're going to do 8 and 9. So Angel will hook them up on the back to start, and then I will click these uh, two right here as well for the uh, 8 and 9. So it'll just pop into place, and again, it's fully locked in right now, and if I wanted to remove it, I would just push this, and it would come back out, and that's how you would open it, and uh, or how to take it in and out. So we'll go ahead and lock it back in, and then we'll actually physically install our server now. All right, so now we'll show you the inners, and then actually put our server in. So essentially, when we pull out the inners, you will notice there's two sets of inners. So the first one's going to pop out, and then the second one will come out. There's four notches in them that we're going to actually put the rivets on the side of the server. So I'll take this one out, and then we'll show you. So and actually, before, real quick, before we uh, put put the server in, I want to show you there's a blue button. It's right here. And if you needed to push your inners back right now, it's actually locked into place. So we push the blue button in, and then you can slide your inners back into place. So I just want to point that out. So go ahead and bring it on over, Angel. So if you look at, I'll hold it so you can point at the rivets. If you look at the uh, four rivets, that's what we're going to line up. And we're going to start with the back. 
get your arm under. All right, so we are gonna just put the back two in first. So as yours in. And once the back two are in, you can pretty much just kind of lay it down and just make sure that it actually physically clicks into the sides, but they'll be all lined up at that point. So we like to just put the first, uh, the back two in first and then just kind of lay it down. And again, you can see nobody's holding it at this point. It's locked securely into place. There you go. And it'll slide back into place. So, uh, and if I wanted to take it out, you'll see it's actually locked. So what would you do is you would grab these two and you'd pull them and slide this back out and then just slide it back into place. So that's how you would rack your HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 9. And if you're looking for any custom built servers yourself, Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your data center, your home labs or business. Please email us at sales at cloudengines.com. That's sales at cloudengines.com. And we do new and used. We do spare parts if you need upgrades. We'd love the opportunity to win your business. Take care, guys.